Uh, Aloha Chair Fukunaga and the committee. My name is uh, H. Doug Matsuok. I strongly oppose Bill 59 in all its forms. I submitted testimony, but I won't be repeating it here. I want to point out a few things that I know and that you know, but the public may not know, and the public doesn't know that, that you know for sure. One is that um, I don't think the public knows that the Attorney General's office has informed the Consul that some people feel that uh, the Bill 59 contradicts um, Article 9, Section 10 of the State Constitution. Now, they, they've communicated that with you, but I just wanted to put that on the record for, for the public to know. Two, um, the public probably doesn't know that the Honolulu Police Department themselves have submitted te testimony that says that it appears that Bill 59 appears to criminalize the issue of lying down on the sidewalk, um, and uh, the bill is seen as focusing on the homeless. Then the city will have to deal with many suits alleging constitutionality claims that the bill is violating the rights of the homeless, and that's from testimony that the police department um, submitted. I don't think the public knows that the budgetary allocation to the Department of Facility Maintenance, which is the department that fixes our potholes and our roads and the sidewalks, are also the ones that do the midnight raids on the homeless. Um, I say midnight raids, but they often happen at 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. And instead of fixing roads, you're allocating money for raids on the homeless. It goes to this guy, and I've seen this guy out in the middle of the night, and it's a um, cabinet position. He's out on the sidewalk raiding homeless, shelter, uh, homeless encampments. Okay. Number four, uh, the public might not realize that this bill is going to be subject to legal challenge as its predecessor bills 54 or Ordinance 11-029 and uh, Bill 7 implemented this year as 13-8 are subject uh, to challenge. In fact, there are two ongoing cases in federal court against the cost constitutionality of the predecessor bills. And there have been two criminal cases against protesters um, 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 protesting uh, Bills 54 and 7. The last one um, was concluded, uh, sentencing hearing was yesterday. The two that were incarcerated will soon be free on bail pending appeal, and that's going to cost uh, the city something. So I don't think the public realizes that, and uh, if not, they do now. Um, so I hope now that the public knows some things that they didn't know before, my prediction, though, is that the bill will sail past and it will be approved because I don't think this consul, with all due respect, I don't think this consul, uh, based on the previous uh, passing of Bill 54 and Bill 7, is concerned with all their constituents. They're certainly not concerned with the people that are poor and the homeless. They're more concerned about the profits. Of, the, of your of your sponsors, and uh, as proof of that, I think this will pass without a problem. Now that concludes my testimony. If anyone has uh, questions they'd like to ask me, members, any questions for Mr. Matsuoka? Okay, if not, thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone?